Good morning, New Orleans District. This is Colonel Murphy, your commander. And I hope this video finds you and your families well and healthy, enjoying what looks to be another hot Louisiana summer. Today, I'm coming to you to introduce a series of short five to seven minute videos that the district will be releasing this week to help communicate what our upcoming transition will look like, where we transition out of the mass telework posture we've been in for 15 months now as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and transition into what will become our new normal, a hybrid environment that incorporates the many lessons we've learned over the last year. This change is driven by the pending expiration on June 30th of the exemption to the OPM policy that allows child and elder care while teleworking, a flexibility incorporated during the worst of the pandemic by the federal government. Any large scale transition like this means change and managing change can be challenging. It requires continuous and open communication between leaders and employees at all levels. So these videos and district-wide emails that you'll see published in the coming weeks are intended to facilitate that communication. In our second video, I'll be describing what the new normal work environment will look like, what you can expect coming back into the office, everything from coming through the gates to changes in parking, to what to expect with face-to-face -face meetings, in the gym, and in the cafeteria. Many of you have questions about vaccinations and the new mask wearing policy, how often employees will be able to telework, or have expressed concerns about finding childcare over the summer. I will address all these issues. The third video will, I think, be the most popular because I will describe how our new district telework policy and what the new battle rhythm will look like. I'm really excited about our policy as it represents a significant change from what we used to do in the past. In the fourth video, I'll address a topic that some of you might find surprising, but one that I know will help us transition smoothly. I call it the courtesy and kindness in the new normal video because I give a brief reminder about the policies and practices that will help keep us out of hot water and working well together after over a year of being apart. In the fifth and final video, I'll briefly cover the Carrollton flood wall construction project currently underway in the district parking lot and what it will mean for our district office employees. In addition to these videos, I will also be hosting a town hall question and answer session on July the 12th from 1130 to 12, both virtually and in the dorm to allow employees to ask questions either in person or via chat. I'll close this video by reiterating two very important messages. First, we've proven as a district that we are capable of excelling and adapting in adversity. 2020 threw a lot at us, the busiest hurricane season in history, the second longest flood fight in the lower Mississippi River in history, a global pandemic that resulted in the district at mass telework for the majority of the year, national unrest, a highly contentious election. And yet we still excelled and still delivered one of the largest civil works programs in the Corps of Engineers and one of the largest for the district in recent history, 955 million. We have the leaders, the talent, and the experience necessary to make this transition work, and we will. The second message is equally as important as it frames our entire transition. July 6th is not the beginning of our return to what we used to look like before COVID. Not at all. July the 6th is the beginning of our transition into a new, totally different hybrid work environment where we implement the many lessons learned from this past year and incorporate telework and office work as tools in our daily battle rhythm. Thanks for watching and for all you do. Colonel Murphy, out.